Hey guys, this is Drake Latrice here. I know I haven't been on in a long time. Um, I'm up in the washeteria, the laundry room of my apartment building right now. I have to do laundry, so hence why I'm in here. Just got out of an old hot water bowl bath this morning. I said I want to start my day off great, so I did that. Um, doing laundry. Later I'm going to catch the, the St. Charles streetcar and go get my medicines um my pain management medicines as well as my mood stabilizers um and my sleeping pills basically um yes i'm taking mood stabilizers now because the isolation that i've been doing for a long time um it's not making me my best self and it was and truthfully every time i felt alone thoughts came into my head that were being wrong and I know that the thoughts were wrong but for me I'm used to spending time with my niece and my nephews every single week days straight you know stuff like that and that's been going on for years in the last 12 months, I've only spent time with them about six times. And that's different for me. Because um, I've been there the last 13 and a half years. So, I know I have to get my own family if I want something that's steady. But I've been enjoying being able to communicate with them and stuff. So that's great. Um, I still get down though, you know. Emotionally feel like I'm drained. Um, physically my pain is horrible. And sometimes I feel as though... I can't continue on, but I know I can, and in my mind, at times, the easier route would be to not be here anymore, but because I lost my mom on my fourth birthday, and my sister and I know what it's like to lose somebody at a young age that we were close to. I would never put my niece and nephews in that position by choice, you know? So I would never take that choice to do that to myself because that would hurt them in ways that a lot of people cannot fathom, you know? I've been writing my poetry. I plan on like getting a laptop next year um, I wanted to get one this year but I couldn't afford it um, I plan on finishing my book of poetry and short stories next year and I'm looking forward to publishing it and getting it into people's hands and for them to know and understand some things about me each poem will come with a short story because every single poem has a story behind it. 